Hey you all, Carpetbagger here, along with my mystery wife, who does not appear on camera. We are at the Hunley, the Civil War era submarine. My wife was a little nervous about coming because she thought they were going to make us go inside the Hunley. As far as I know, that's not going to happen. Follow me. This is a Civil War submarine, but it is not the Hunley. Let's take a peek inside. Looks like there's some wheelchairs over there. So in this very facility holds the remains of the H.L. Hunley. We're going to get to see it here in a minute. But for those of you who don't know, the H.L. Hunley was a secret weapon used by the Confederacy, a submarine and it was the first submarine to ever sink another ship. It was the first submarine to sink a Union ship. The thing is absolutely insane. It looks like something out of a Jules Verne novel, an absolute steampunk weapon. So how it works is it's like a tube. I think there's a model over here. So as you can see, it's basically like a torpedo full of eight people. They turn it with a hand crank to make the propellers go. And how it explodes other ships is it's got a spear on the end with an explosive. It jams itself into the ship and then pulls back and then the explosion goes off like one of those party popper fakes. Then they hightail it. Here's a Hunley simulator. from the uh, movie that Ted Turner made. Oh, this is cozy. Oh, this is nothing like a sea coffin whatsoever. So the H.L. Hunley was named after a man named H.L. Hunley. And he invented this new technique. He loved the idea of submarine warfare. I guess he liked sci-fi novels at the time. Anyway, they, the first voyage that they had. They had civilians riding in it and the ship sank to the ocean. I think all of them died except maybe three. Hunley said, well that's bullcrap. They were doing something wrong. I'll come out there and show you how things are done. So Hunley himself takes the crew out there and then that sinks to the bottom and then all of them drowned. So two sinkings already. Finally a third trip in the Civil War to sink the Union battleship and once again it sinks and no one's really sure why and the thing is that the Hunley sat on the ocean floor in Charleston Harbor from the 1860s into the 90s until the grunge era when it was finally resurrected and placed in this special facility and actually during the week they restore it and then on the weekends it sits in a giant tub of Drano. Seriously. Oh, this guy, I guess, is a, on the H.L. Hunley. He's, he's doomed. Alright, this is the uniform of the scuba diver who first found the Hunley in 1995. He was the first person to touch it in 130 years, and man, is he excited. She's 38, 48 scuba. 42 inches wide. There it is. 48 inches tall. The Hunley. Uh, held a crew of eight. You can see the hand, power. hand crank right they there. The crank. They operated the pumps. Uh, the pumps and start coming to the back. You see up here at the, at the front, the forward conning tower here, the hatch still on. Now check this out. This is truly amazing. This is Lieutenant Dixon's gold coin. That gold coin there, Lieutenant Dixon was shot in the leg in a separate Civil War battle and the bullet bounced off the coin but lodged the coin in his leg and it was not recovered until the 90s when the Hunley 
It was pulled out of the harbor and it was found in his leg. And they actually had a funeral for all the, the crew members in 2004 and they actually made recreations of their faces based on the remains that were found on the Hunley. This is Lieutenant Dixon. He was the one that had the gold coin lodged in his leg that was recovered from the wreck. Check out the Civil War flip book. Oh, looks like Confederate Mario over here. Pow. So that is the amazing claustrophobic sci-fi death trap secret weapon that is the H. L. Hunley. Really amazing. I wish you could get a better view. Apparently at some point they're going to be able to put it on full display. They said the outside is completely restored and they're currently working on the inside. They've been working for 17 years. They said it may be another 5-10 years for it's finally finished, but definitely cool. I love this story. It's amazing. Appreciate you guys watching. Spot.